Welcome to Divine Lewis Tarot. We are going to be taking a look at those of you who have significant placements of Virgo in your birth chart. Um, I will be doing three different like spreads, the past life, present, and future. Um, before we get into your messages, I do want to invite you all to book a personal session with me. My website is www.divinelotustarot.com and you can find the link below this video or um, on the screen as well too in the upper right hand corner um also feel free to follow and support my social media sites which you can find below this video as well too um and also just take advantage of the promotions that you see um scrolling past your screen right now all right thank you so much in advance um so yeah for those of you who have significant placements of virgo in your chart for the first spread we're going to look at, we're going to focus more on just those of you who are masculine, male, uh, males, um, inner, uh, males actually, um, your actual reading from the previous last reading that I did, which was called Made the Best Man Win. That reading, we touched on some past life energy and I was intuitively led and I also was just like interested to just see a little bit more on your energy because y'all were kind of not there so if you haven't seen it or if you need a refresher um you can go ahead and click for that video okay um it's called may the best man win I'll put the link below this video and I'll try to put it on the screen as well too so you can refresh your energy with that and then get into this if you haven't watched it or if you need to refresh it yourself um and then we're going to look at your present and then your future and then that's going to be for both um females and male virgo energies um okay so first and foremost before we get into that the the card messages i was um led to um let you all know i'm i'm picking up energies of there's some of you have significant placements of Gemini, Scorpio, Aquarius in your birth chart. For some of you, you may be an Aquarius male. You have significant placements of Virgo in your birth chart watching this. For others of you, you may be a Scorpio male and you have significant placements of Virgo in your birth chart. Okay. Um, I'm also picking up the energy that... There was um, overlying messages pertaining to some of you um, that your ability to co-create, manifest, um, to essentially get some type of desired outcome that you want. Um, if you're feeling that things are blocked and at a stagnant point and you're not able to just um, like either this is creativity blocks or this is literally like you manifesting if you're finding yourself to be blocked i was picking up the message essentially that there was some type of wrong that you have done that you need to right so there's either a situation where you lied um to someone you lied on someone um or just some type of situation where it caused someone some type of setback or it caused some type of misfortune to one or more other individuals there's something that you need to make right and that is exactly the reason why you are not going to be able to have any um progress it feels like you are just kind of like being blocked and restricted right now because of that so if that applies to you you know exactly what it is and you're being called to bring um clarity to a situation and make that situation right now getting into the past life spread okay um it was very interesting from that reading because when i started to pull a little bit on your energy virgo um i found that there was like three essential periods that were coming up around your past life reading so one of them was there was a past life that you had during a book burning error there was a witch trial error that you were um you had a past life in and then a 
a past life during slavery okay so we're gonna take a look at all of those um i feel like you and a significant individual did all of these lifetimes together and it all it kind of feels like you were separated with these individuals because of a similar pattern that i was seeing through all of them which was essentially like you were the deciding factor and it feels like you kind of played two roles okay like like you you straddled the fence in all of these errors and you never really chose one side or the other um until it was convenient for you essentially and i feel like you were dealing with someone who was very devoted to you but it feels like you were more devoted to yourself and then it kind of feels like when it was all said and done you kind of looked back and felt bad about this okay because it feels like you could have had way more input in a situation than you did it's almost like you didn't give yourself enough credit and you didn't realize how significant of an influence that you of a, of a difference you could have made um by just speaking up or um using your influence in in a positive way that you had um in these different errors um because it was almost like you wanted to go with the societal norms or you wanted to just focus on getting your achievement or status that that you desired but it, it it feels like you regretted this when it was all said and done okay so let's take a look at the book burning one okay virgo so it feels like during the book burning era you and your love interest you know had a, a, a fondness for literature okay um so this may even show play up in maybe your life in this lifetime you, you may be very well educated or you may be someone who really enjoys to read or to write or things of that nature um but i definitely see your love interest was very much more vocal and very much more um it was very, it, it was much more obvious you know that your love interest was into um i'm hearing books or whatever these type of books that were getting burned during this era so if it wasn't all books getting burned, then it was a specific type or genre of book that was being burned um, during this period of time. And I feel like you and your love interest were into it behind the scenes and your love interest was very vocal or out there about, you know, it, it, it wasn't like not known that whoever your love interest was, was into this. I keep hearing the occult, so it could have been occult books or occult studies, okay? And then... Um, but however you had some type of significant role like so you could have been a political figure or someone who worked with the justice or judicial system and you were individuals who were essentially against people who had <laughs> access to this now it's pretty interesting because it almost seems like during this period of time you get called to go to like the scene where there is a situation going on with some type of book burning and then the, upon you leaving to do that okay you are also made aware that there's officials that are going to come to your home because you have books there they're not aware that you're into the books or that you have these books they're more so coming towards your partner because your partner like i said is more vocal and out there with it and it, it almost seems like in the midst of you going to tend to something else and then getting the word that you have officials or authorities about to come to your house because you all have you know books that are not to be um continued and they're supposed to be banned or burned or things of that nature you're at a distance and you're not able to get back to your partner in time so it feels like your partner may have went um you know got um addressed and had to deal with repercussions pertaining to having this and by the time you got back your partner was gone is what i'm seeing 
Yeah, your partner was gone. Yeah, it was like you got back. And it was too late. And it feels like when I say that you could have had some essential, like, means of not straddling the fence, it feels like if, because you had some type of significant, like I said, official, government, political, or judicial justice type of position, it feels like if you would have kind of pushed more for some type of significant change, because you knew you were dealing with someone who was very much into this um style of literature you yourself was even into it behind the scenes i feel like with you being a key figure in your uh community you were a voice that could have had some type of significant impact however you you didn't speak up you didn't stand up and because of that it's like you end up losing someone that was the love of your life essentially because you chose to essentially put your career, your status, your prestige, and even just the fact of society's belief first and uphold that instead of listening to your heart or just instead of, you know, considering the bigger picture just outside of yourself, okay? So that's that one aspect. Now let's take a look at the witch trials. So with the witch trials, <laughs> it's like a similar situation. I just feel like whoever you were dealing with, your status and your relationship and your commitment was just kind of up in the air. It feels like you were secretly going to see this individual. Like you had feelings for this person. You would write this individual. It, it seems like in this particular period of time, like you, you didn't live with this person. It was more like you didn't want to be seen with this person, but you would like send secret letters to this individual is what i'm seeing you would write love notes to this individual um and you, the two of you would like sneak out like in the forest and meet each other and like give each other these letters and things of that nature and just like get up with each other but it was like when it was in, it, when it came to the public like you definitely were very much against like witches <laughs> I guess you know what I'm saying um I even feel like to some extent like y'all were witches as well too and you just didn't you weren't open with it you know what I'm saying um but you were very against it in the public once again like I see you having some type of significant role where you um it's more like I feel like more like a policing type of energy so you might have been on some type of police force if it was not a police force then it's like whoever whatever this the the organization was that was against the witches so whatever the little group was you may have been like a part of it and it was like you were trying to instead of just standing up and you know giving a perspective that you had because you would go and spend time and you were in love with and sneaking off to go be with a whole witch it's like <laughs> so you knew you had some type of different perspective about whatever whatever prejudices that other individuals did not know you get what I mean so you had some type of personal insight that you could have that you were privy to because you were in love with a witch okay and then you were having full-blown, you know, connections and emotional feelings and things and whatnot with this individual. But at the same time, you never spoke up and gave a perspective to try to even positively influence the the change to be more open and accepting um, to this group of individuals um, that were being targeted from the perspective that you had to at least give a perspective that maybe everything that they thought wasn't correct or maybe that all of the witches were not you know bad witches I guess if if whatever whatever was being said or was being attributed to this group of individuals I just feel like you had the opportunity to speak up and you did it 
um, I even see as well too that you were supposed to um, it feels like you had even planned to like come be with this person like move with this person is what I'm seeing like the two of you had plans like like you would speak about this like in these letters you would speak about moving with each other yeah but I feel like you never did now what happened it feels like something something got caught up there was something some type of situation that got caught up it feels like as well too there was some type of communication that didn't get to someone maybe as to why you wouldn't make it that day or or you just abandoned this individual and you just never you was just no call no show but I'm seeing like you just where are you at like why didn't you make it two worlds it, it either feels like maybe some of you just changed your mind last minute oh yeah you did you just changed your mind last minute there was there could have been some people close to you who actually knew that you were seeing this individual and they kind of got in your head and they, they convinced you that it wasn't a good idea and once they convinced you it wasn't a good idea to go like be with this person or, or move with this person who was a witch or be whether this person was a witch or being called a witch whatever this is it like it changed your perspective it, it's almost like individuals got into your mind about okay well How's that gonna look? And I feel like, yeah, they really they really played on like your ego and your image and things of that nature. And you being able to like have some type of significant, yeah. See, it was about you rising and your status, your career, your image, or your role in society. It was like that was way more important to you. So once again, you chose that over love. And it's interesting because it's like, this is the second card pulling for a different era, but I'm seeing the same energy where it's like, you had some major regret about that, but you didn't speak up though. All right, so let's go ahead, take a look at the next one. Okay, so the next era was during slavery and in that period i was picking up virgo that you all may have been um mixed race meaning that for for your appearance your aesthetics wise you came off looking more caucasian like you could pass so you had more um access to different different responsibilities tasks duties on the plantation i'm even seeing as well too some of you actually had like healing abilities okay so i feel like you knew like natural remedies that were passed on to you um i'm hearing tribal so it could have been natural tribal remedies that had been passed on from generations and generations that you knew um and you would heal like the individuals um plantation that you were on you would heal them so they uh, they found you as an asset and like i said besides that you could pass as well too so you weren't looked at as threatening. You weren't looked at as, um, you were trusted, essentially. You were trusted, along with the fact that you had um, skills, a skill set that was very much needed, okay? It was it was very much needed um, because with you being able to heal individuals, um, it came in very handy. They wanted to keep you near. They wanted to keep you close, okay? So I'm seeing that.
Yeah, you were very well versed, very well knowledge, knowledgeable. Okay. So you, okay, you were able to be very well versed and very well knowledgeable because you had access to different responsibilities and tasks and areas of the plantation, like, you know, being inside, um, being able to be in the library and the study or whatever this is, or, or being able to have access to books. This could have even been you being able to be taught how to read and how to write because of the, um, because of your ability to, uh, um, that your gifts that you had, I mean, your skill set that you had to heal, your healing abilities, your healing techniques, um, your healing remedies, as well as the fact that you could pass. Um, so you were able to have access to, to different things and you were able to travel. Okay. So you would go, you would travel around with, the the slave masters and the slave owners and things of that nature. Yeah, you had a lot of power, okay? You had a lot of power and a lot of prestige. And you were really, um, you, you weren't necessarily really treated like a slave is what I'm getting. Yeah, you got, you received a lot of love is what I, what I'm getting. Yeah, I'm just getting like, you really got to travel a lot. And I'm seeing you just get to have access to wisdom and knowledge that other other slaves on the plantation did not get to have access to. Um, and you did have your love interest here who was there with you. Okay. Now your love interest, I don't see your love interest having the same privileges and access that you had. But now I don't see you and your love interest having the same privileges. And I feel like, you know, the two of you were discussing you know being able to leave or to get away and I feel like regardless of how the two of you were going to get away whether you were going to like essentially try to plan to run away or if it was an opportunity where you were going to get to travel and um, maybe you were supposed to try to um, see if you could help get yourself and your love interest to be released you know to be freed and I just feel like it almost seems like versus doing something where you potentially could have got the assistance for you and your love interest it's almost like you chose to just focus on self and take some type of work position that was given to you to better and advance yourself okay so it really feels like Virgo like you were actually a unicorn and you didn't realize how unique you were you know you had some type of unique ability or a unique privilege or um there was just something about you where I just feel like in all of these errors you didn't realize your own power and your sense of influence and the positions that you were in that you definitely could have utilized to the advantage of you know being a benefit to the greater good of a lot of other individuals not even just you and your significant other but I definitely feel like due to some type of um selfish um intent that you had you know for just wanting to better yourself or advance yourself then it kind of negatively impacted you and the individual who was looked at as the love of your life okay like it's essentially like you just kind of chose you and then if even feels like in some of these periods like looking back like when I get a little bit more deeper into it it's almost like you realize later on once you got what you wanted like things were not in all the instances what they seemed it wasn't like you just moved on and lived happily ever after. It's like when well, you realize like, oh, okay, people weren't actually who they said they were or people were actually just using you. And it's almost like you, you kind of realized after the fact, you know, that you had a really loyal, devoted love interest or that you really had some type of significant influence and that you could have used your will, um, your power, your position in a way that would have positively made some type of 
change okay for the for the greater good okay essentially that's what I'm getting so that's just a little bit more for those of you who wanted more information from that previous reading like I said now we're gonna go ahead jump into your current energy looking at males and female Virgo placement individuals Okay, Virgo, so looking at your present energy, so this is um, the present spread for the males and females with significant placements of Virgo. I'm getting some of you are holding back, okay? So for some of you, there is a love interest um, that you are interested in, and you may be holding back from this person. I do see some of you may be either going through legal troubles, um, legal issues, legal cases, or some of you are blatantly going through a divorce right now so it's almost like you are waiting until that is finalized before you move forward with another individual now i heard catfish so i'm getting a whole nother group of you okay where there is um some of you who have a very um stalker obsessive type of nature and energy it feels like older individuals like senior citizens is what i'm picking up and i see some of you could be working together with each other um you're obsessed with a particular individual or you're obsessed with this individual's lover for some of you you could be obsessed with both like you're obsessed with this person and their love interest and you have constantly been trying to sabotage this individual's love life is what I'm seeing and you're trying to create all types of stagnation and roadblocks doing all types of different things okay and I heard catfish so you could be you know coming up maybe you're going to one individual and to the other individual trying to act like you're somebody else or some of you are trying to act like this love interest talking to another person trying to cause some type of confusion but it's really interesting because your energy is coming up as a senior citizen so it seems very immature and childish for you to be very older and doing um something so dumb and childish like that going trying to interfere interfere in someone's love and romance life and act like you're somebody else and talk to the love interest it's very weird if no one has ever told you that because then you don't have real friends. Real friends would tell you and hold you accountable and let you know that that's foolish, that's ignorant, and you should know better than to be sitting up playing games doing something like that. Because it seems very, like I said, obsessive and stalkerish in nature. Um, very fixated for you all to be doing this, okay? Now, I'm also seeing that you have been constantly trying to keep someone in a situation where they are stuck, they are trapped, and they are not able to reach out and move forward in their life, therefore moving on with their love life. So um, I also heard backfire. So just be aware that this is going to backfire on you, okay? Okay, um, so for some of you Virgo individuals, I feel like you're having like weird crazy strange dreams um i feel like for this group of you all you have been haunting someone so i feel like you're being haunted by um someone's ancestors is what i i feel um it seems like some of y'all tried to tap into someone's akashic records to see about someone's marriage life who someone was going to marry you keep trying to find out who someone's going to marry um, I'm not sure why you care or why you keep trying to tap into someone's relationship business um, which has nothing to do with you um, but that's the very reason why you're being haunted um, I also heard black magic so some of you have been casting black magic and I'm seeing as well too because I heard parental um, either you have been doing black magic to try to affect negatively someone from your intention is set to essentially put out there for someone to never be a parent okay and that is one of the lowest 
evil, most wicked things that a person could ever set an intention for another individual. Um, because once again, who are you to try to set that intention for somebody else? And why do you care? That's what you need to really ask yourself. Why do you care about someone else's dick or vagina? Okay, their sperm or their ovaries or their fallopian, fallopian tube. Why do you care? That's what you really need to ask yourself. So regardless, because you set the intention, okay, putting something so wicked, so evil out there towards someone, um, it looks like it's going to come back on you, okay? And I'm seeing a whole family here. So you have just brought some negativity that's going to negatively impact yourself, your kids, your kids' kids. Like like you've just brought some type of negative uh, karma. You, you essentially cursed yourself by doing this. Whatever you did, I don't know why you did this or why you thought you had a right to curse someone's ability to have children or why you thought that was cool to say some something ignorant like that but you've just brought a whole onset of issues for you in your bloodline i mean that's how curses occur not only does a curse occur from external people people who do dumb stuff like that wishing harm on someone else's ability to have kids okay to procreate to find love that's the dumb type of curses that people put on their own families and their own bloodlines by doing stupid stuff like that because of jealousy because of envy okay because of hate because of spitefulness and now you've just brought that what you've intended for someone else you've just put that now on a whole bloodline for yourself So yes, this group of you are being tormented. You're having night terrors or weird dreams or something like that. You know you are. You know that you're getting some type of harsh karma. Okay. And if it isn't happened, well, you obviously feel it. Because I feel your energy. As soon as I started the reading, the energy was very nervous. And I'm thinking like, why every time I do a reading for Virgo, the energy is nervous. You know what I'm saying? Like there's always some type of nervous energy here. In this particular instance, this is not a good nervous energy. You're nervous because you know that you've been doing wicked things. For this group of you, of Virgos, you know you've been doing wicked stuff. And you know this is about to come back on you. Yeah, there's a lot of black magic that someone has been casting is what I'm seeing. Yeah, I'm looking at all this energy on the, the bottom of the deck. High Priestess energy. The Black Alchemist. Dark Alchemist. The Ten of Swords. You've been wishing death, you've been wishing harm, you've been wishing all types of Ill evil on a person or several people. Okay. And so the reason why some of you are doing this, I keep getting this energy of a very old energy. So for some of you, you may be, like I said once again, there's a group of senior citizens that are hating on other individuals. Um, so this group of you have nothing better to do than sit around and hate on other people and the opportunities that they have coming in because you're too busy focused on what somebody else is doing, trying to control someone else's life when you should be focused on yourself, your life, and your health and your well-being is what I'm seeing. Um, but nonetheless, um, I keep seeing some energy pertaining to some of you have a God complex. So you think that you're God. I'm not sure who appointed you as God, but some of you have a God complex. And that's exactly why the karma that is coming back on you is going to come back on you because you're trying to play God in someone's life. You're trying to pose as God in someone else's life is what I'm seeing. Some of you are upset because you got rejected. Okay. So this, this makes it okay to wish everything under the sun towards a person because someone doesn't want to be bothered with you because someone's ignoring you because someone's not giving you the attention that you feel that you desire okay 
anyways. Okay, and we're going to move for um, that group of you Virgos. I'm sending blessings to you. I'm not picking up on your energy anymore, so you can find a new reader. Thank you. For the other Virgos who are not operating in that particular energy that we were just touching on, I do see you coming to some uh, phase in your life where you've been dealing with a lot of burdens and struggles, and it's been very tough and challenging i feel you're at um the last leg of a threshold um and i feel like things are going to pick up for you so this group of you have been putting in a lot of hard work um just diligently minding your business focused on your own goals um and and really just i see you doing a lot of hard work okay and i feel that that effort that persistence that you've been doing by just continuously moving forward even though it's been a struggle for you that is going to pay off and the energy your load is going to be lightened and things is going to pick up for you i do see some um type of message coming in for you that's going to um be some positive news for you okay i also feel as well too in the midst of that there's going to be some type of um situation that you let go of so th this could be some type of death okay whether a literal death or just some type of metaphorical death around you so there's some there's, there's going to be some type of release that may bring on a sense of sadness or just bring on a sense of you you know um maybe grieving a situation whether it's you know very intensely or just a situation where it's like when, when you have to move on from something and you're you're at the end of a phase and you move on to a new area so for some of you it's going to be deeply painful for others of you you know it just may be like bittersweet type of energy but you know you it's not it may not be as intense okay but i do see some of you um being able to move okay and you're moving on you're moving forward um in your life i do see for some of you yeah you're moving towards a new love okay so you have a new love interest here is what i'm seeing yeah it's going to be some type of radical shift and change in your finances as well too so I just feel like things are going to really just take off and explode for you. Um, so yeah, your wishes are going to be met. And I just feel like whatever efforts you're putting in, especially when it comes to your business or your creative endeavors, I feel like just continue to hone those skills because it's really going to pay off for you, okay? Yeah, you got some really good significant energies. Um, and I see a lot of you just really putting a lot of effort in behind the scenes, praying, um, just making very wish very deep intense wishes I see a lot of you just really desiring for your circumstances and situation to change and I do see like some positive upliftment and energy and good news coming your way okay especially like I said with moving so for those of you who've been ready to get out of some type of um, situation where you you felt like you were kind of like stuck like you're you're going to be able to move forward okay Okay, so now we're going to look at like some future energy for you all and we're tapping into um, my per positive Virgos out there, uh, female and male energy, future energy. It feels like the energy you want to look at pertains to your sense of having children in the future. Okay, now what I will say is we're going to keep this area of the reading very brief because i see <laughs> dark manipulative energy coming up around some of you so um well first and foremost I, I have the high priestess energy here um and i got the dark alchemist card so what that's telling me is for some of you first and foremost things are still being sorted out when it comes to your ability to have kids and then at the same time, this information is being concealed, it's being blocked because there is hater energy around you. Um, so you just want to be mindful of that, okay? Um, because I feel like there's a lot of people around you casting low vibrational energy towards you and your ability to conceive 
or to get pregnant or to get someone else pregnant so you just want to be mindful of that and you really want to get your spiritual cleansing up and your spiritual protective methods up if you have not been um implementing that especially when it comes to honing all over all areas of your life you know what i mean for spiritual protection and in general but especially when it comes to pregnancy because i'm definitely seeing there are dark entities around you um trying to negatively impact your free will to get pregnant okay besides that yeah i think that's pretty much that so i feel like that would be something to more so focus on really start looking into protective spiritual methods when it comes to pregnancy and how to like you know safeguard and protect your your energy your child's energy your partner who you're going to conceive with like you really want to get into that energy like i said because there's low vibrational energies around you um yeah So that's pretty much that. Yeah. Besides that, I do want to say when you do conceive, it might be in your best interest as well too for this group of you who are going to conceive to keep your pregnancies private. Like do not reveal to anyone except for the person who you're conceiving with you know what I'm saying? Unless you know you can really fully trust these other individuals around you. But it just really feels like you have a lot of low vibrational energy around you. And they're already plotting and planning out. It's like for some of you, maybe you're pregnant already and that's why you're asking. Or for some of you, you're about to, you know, have the opportunity to get pregnant or get someone pregnant. And you already got energy around you doing weird stuff, okay? Okay, so yeah. I would just, if you, I feel like it would be in your best interest to not tell anyone, just keep it between you and your partner and then just pop up pregnant. But besides that, I would say, yeah, don't make sure you're very discerning with who you're going to tell that to. And I feel like you and your partner need to be on the same page about it. Okay. Um, when it's all said and done, you can always pray. <laughs> Or go to God about, you know, who you should and should not tell that you're pregnant to. If you should even talk about being pregnant or even get like a tarot reading. Okay. Like to know, like, should you even be talking about it to anyone or specific people that you might have, con you know, concerns about. Or if you are interested in knowing, okay, well does this person energy match an energy that would be trustworthy to share this with but besides that i mean it would just be in your best bet to just keep it between you and your partner just keep it private keep it sacred keep it intimate you know um and just continue to do some work start doing that work now that spiritual cleansing and clearing on you because i, I just feel like that that area is already showing that there has already been energy that has been projected that that already it's like someone is already doing this so like i said whether you currently are or whether you're about to be there has been entities who have already been focused on this for you already okay so those are all the messages i have for the reading if you would like to book a personal session with me you can go to my website www.divinelotustarot.com be blessed